Hello everybody, my name is United Troy and welcome to the Manchester United Vogue! United just finished up their four game preseason tour over here in the United States. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go see any of the games in person, but that was because they weren't playing anywhere near me. It happens. But when it comes to preseason, all that matters is shaking off the cobwebs, getting up to match fitness, and learning as much as you can about the team before going into the first competitive match of the game, which is coming up on August 8th. So excited. Anyway, the results don't really matter when it comes to preseason. That being said, everyone likes to get on a good start when it comes to the season that's coming ahead. I think if you win games, you're more excited, and if you lose games, you're not looking out as positively. Thankfully, United won three of the four games we played. The first game was against Club America, and there wasn't a whole lot to tell. I mean, Morgan Schneiderlin got on the scoreboard and actually was the winning goal uh, in the 1-0 victory, which was great, but very much it was just a 45 minutes of one 11, 45 minutes of another 11. Get back to starting to be match fitness. What is this I'm doing right here? The second game was against San Jose Earthquakes, which is more of a test because MLS is currently in the middle of their season and United, this is our second game after the summer. So it was more of a test competitively, but thankfully United also won again, this time 3-1. We showed some defensive cracks, but we also showed more of an attacking prowess, which I'm very happy about. And this time new signing Memphis Depay got on the score sheet. So that was definitely beneficial. The third game was against Barcelona, which we also won 3-1. And this was also great because I still remember them damn Champions League finals. <laughs> That still hurts. That still hurts. The 09 final and the 2011 final. I'm never, ever, ever going to get over that. But it's always nice to exact revenge in any sense you can. And this time, United came out on top 3-1. But the best part about that game was that the youngsters really stepped up. And the bright spot of the entire preseason campaign was Andres Pereira. He actually dominated some games. He was so good in both the previous game against the San Jose Earthquakes and the game against Barcelona. And, I mean, he, he was really running the show at times. And he's definitely one to look out for the future. And Nyanuze also, we know how good he can be and how good he will be if he keeps his development up, and he showed that in the game against Barcelona. I mean, Lingard on the score sheet, so the kids showed that they were perhaps even better than the first team. Now, the last game was against PSG, and we lost. Not only did we lose, we got spanked. We did not look good at all. We looked terrible throughout the entire match. United played like shit. We defended like shit, hence the two goals. Not good. I don't see any bright spots from that game. But apparently Louis Van Hall did because he said we played well. He was pleased with the performance despite the result. And that's true. When it comes to preseason, the result doesn't matter. So it's hard to tell how the players are going to judge the preseason themselves. But that's up to them and their own mental faculties. Now let's talk about the players, particularly the new signings, which is our first look of the new signings in the United Shirk. The player I was most impressed with was Matteo Darmian. MD, these nuts. Right back has been a problem position with us for a while. I mean, Valencia is not a natural right back. Rafael apparently sucks, and we needed a solid right back. And I think Mateo Darmian definitely proved that he can play that part with ease and with great grace and finesse and strength. And I'm really looking forward to seeing who and what he can do for the squad over the course of the next season. I think of all the players he impressed the most. Morgan Schneiderlin was definitely up there. I think he was better than Schweinsteiger in terms of dictating play, showing what he's about, and, you know, proving that he can take the ball and, and run with it, literally and figuratively. He can command the midfield. Schweinsteiger, I was also pleased with, but it was clear that he wasn't up to snuff. I think that he needs to get into match fitness. It's going to take him a little longer, being older. He was trying to command the team off the ball more than he was on the ball, and I think it's going to take a while for the team to get up to par with what he's saying and, 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 and how he acts and everything. I feel like once the, the side starts working together in synergistic fashion, Schweinsteiger will be more of a presence than he has this preseason campaign. Of all the new signings, Depay was the worst. He made a lot of mistakes. He scored one goal, I think, but it was set up on a plate for him. I think he's playing out of position, and that's what's hurting him the most. Um, Louis Van Hall is putting him in the cam roll right behind Rooney and playing Mata out on the right, and I don't understand that. Perfectly frank, I don't get it. Yeah, Darmian's overlapping on the right wing, which is fine, but at the same time, he could do that anyway. So, the fact that you have one of the best cams in the game, Mata, playing on the wing, and you have Memphis Depay, one of the most promising youngsters, wingers, playing in cam, it just seems backwards to me. Why are you flipping, just put Mata in the cam role and put 
the pie on the wing so that way they can do what they know they can do. I just felt like it was unnecessary tinkering by Louis Van Hall, and he stuck with it throughout the entire four games. It just didn't work. I think on the wing, Depay has that freedom to do what he does. In the cam, in the hole, Mata has the ability to dictate play and have that killer pass to Rooney that he that Rooney did not get much of. In order to be effective, he had to drop back further, and that just it just wasn't working for me, Depay in the cam role. I don't want to judge his ability based on preseason alone, but he was the worst of the new signings, and I think it was mainly due to him playing out of position. Um, I'll tell you one other guy who really impressed me, though, Luke Shaw. Of all the positions that Manchester United have needed to get locked down in the, in the past, the fullback position is now, I think, locked down. Luke Shaw was defensively strong. He was bombing forward and doing defenders and getting in crosses. I think he showed that he was really good. Did he make some mistakes? Sure, but it's preseason. Potentially, Luke Shaw, solid. Keep him there. Play him as much as you can, and he'll grow and he'll learn and he'll turn into a phenomenal player. Same with Darmian. You play him there, you keep him there. You, those two positions, I think, are completely locked down. And the formation, I'm not really understanding either. It's either a 4-2-3-1 or a 4-4-1-1. It seems more like a 4-2-3-1 with uh, Carrick and Schneiderlin or Schweinsteiger and Herrera in those deep center midfielder roles. So it'll be interesting to see if Louis Van Hall decides to tinker with that a bit more. Who knows? It's, it's preseason. It's very much a difficult time to judge just how the team is going to play in the season. That is something that can only be shown through the season. And the preseason is officially wrapped up. Who knows what will happen this season? Can Manchester United win it? I think they can. Will they? It's hard to say. I think that we've definitely, of all the Premier League sides, we've made the best improvements. We'll definitely be challenging for the title. Will we win it? I don't know. But we'll definitely be challenging. We won't be struggling for fourth. We'll definitely be challenging. And I'm excited to see how far we go. And not only the Premier League, but the FA Cup. We haven't won that in a long time. And we've just been overtaken by Arsenal for the record amount of wins. So we need to get that back home where it belongs. And it'll be the most interesting to see how far we go in the Champions League. What do you guys think? Was this preseason success? Do you like the positions and the formations and all of that jazz? Let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to make that like button your bitch. If you like the video, smash the like button. Let me know. Subscribe so you don't miss any new content. I'm telling you, be part of the revolution. This is a young channel. This is a new channel. This is a channel that I want to grow and build. And I really trying but i need your help to do so tell your friends subscribe do everything you can to help me help you help me help you help me. thanks a lot guys and i'll see y'all next time bye